In this lecture, we're going to cover the Micasense Altum sensor. So this is another sensor by Micasense up in Seattle and Washington. And it comes with the same DLS2 as the Red Edge. So it is actually a sibling to the Red Edge MX. And you can see they're similar in color, only this sensor is much larger, a little bit more heavy, but it's twice the resolution as the Red Edge. So you still get the same bands. You get red, green, blue for that RGB composite red edge and near infrared they also have added a six band which is a lower resolution thermal and it uses the FLIR lepton sensor so it gives you a lower resolution but a thermal layer for looking at temperature of the vegetation so just like with the red edge you can integrate this fully into the sky port on the m200 series so here you can just plug it directly in and then the light sensor would go on the mass of the m200 that are typically used for rtk you can also integrate this into other platforms like an m100 series or it's been put on uh, a vtol fixed wing so a transitional vehicle through quantum systems so you can check that out um, or you can put it on other kind of custom drones. It is a heavier payload coming in at about a pound or so and it is more expensive. So it runs around $10,000. But again, you're getting twice the resolution plus that added thermal band as well. And so processing options for the Altum are also fairly open, similar to the Red Edge MX. So you're looking at PIX4D Mapper, but also it's very capable for processing in PIX4D fields, and that will process both the RGB composite, your different indices, and the thermal band. So I've been using that quite readily out in the field. It'll also process in Agisoft. So Micasense, similar to the Red Edge MX, is processing in Agisoft. And then they've opened up some of the processing capabilities for academics. In the cloud, then, we have Drone Deploy in their push to process multispectral data. They'll process at least the five band of the Altum sensor. We have Solvi, we have other companies like Aerobotics or Delaire. Pretty much anyone that's processing on the Red Edge data will be processing Altum. That includes Precision Hawk for their Precision Analytics platform, is also processing the Altum data. So, more and more all the time. So, the benefits of this sensor are really that high resolution. It's more of a scientific sensor, the added thermal band at lower resolution for combining all those data layers. The downside is it is fairly heavy. It produces a lot of data. So you can get bogged down with a lot of processing. Uh, and the cost. So it is a little bit more expensive at $10,000, but for a scientific tool, um, it's pretty in line with different scientific sensors that are out there. So that's the Micasense Altum. I hope that's interesting to you. And with that, we'll move on to our next sensor.